Hey guys, it's Carmen, and in this video, I'm just going to be telling you about a beta rescue. Now, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a really long time. I actually did film one, but then I have gotten new pets since then, or one new pet, and that is this beta. <laughs> so I still have to add him to the to the mix, I guess. <laughs> and in this video, I just wanted to talk to you about his story and everything. So let's get started, I guess. Okay, so to start off, I am sorry about the camera. I'm holding my phone because I just thought of this video idea and I was like, I'll do that right now. So I just set up my lights and everything and <laughs> here we are. So this beta was obviously at Walmart, like I said. Let's go to the beginning, I guess. I went to work with my mom because she stocks bread at Walmart. And I was just getting like bedding and stuff. And every time I go there with her, I always have to check out the betas and everything. So I was looking at all them and then I noticed that one of the cups was cracked. And, you know, sometimes that happens. But this cup was like leaking all over. There was a puddle of water underneath the cup and there was like that much water in it. So I told my mom, I was like, yeah, there's this beta that its cup is cracked. It's leaking everywhere. She's like, how long do you think it has left of water? I was like, I have no idea. I don't know how long it's been cracked. I don't know how fast it's leaking or anything because if I pick it up it leaks pretty fast but that could be because I'm like squeezing the cup when I pick it up you know so it was really hard to tell how fast this was actually leaking so when she got done working and everything we'd even bother telling like the Walmart people and everything the, the people who work at Walmart employees I guess I don't even know we didn't even bother telling them because we knew that that was the job of whoever took care of the fish or um, brought in like the fish shipment or whatever. So we looked around for like extra beta cups and like you know their little cubby area. We didn't find any so like, we, like I said we didn't even bother getting an employee or anything. So she's like okay just grab the fish we'll take it. I was like, okay, cool. So then we got a new fish. <laughs> it's a pretty short story, but it's still a rescue because this fish would have ran out of water and died if we didn't get him. So it's still a rescue. This was two days ago, I want to say. It wasn't yesterday, so it was two days ago. Maybe it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or two days ago. I cannot remember. Anyways, let me show him to you. Okay, so he's in his little cave right now. There he comes. I just have my um, filming light on top of there because he doesn't have a light on his cage or tank. But he's really pretty. He's black, blue, and red. So he has like a blue body, red and blue and black fins. Like, he's really gorgeous. So he's just in a 2.5 right now. I'm a little worried, though, because he hasn't eaten. So there's a pellet right there. Um, I don't think he's eaten the other ones. They might have fallen. But there he is. There's his cage, or tank, I don't know why I keep calling it a cage, and he's really gorgeous, so I'm really happy with him. Hopefully he eats and then does better. So I hope you enjoyed this short video, but kind of important video, just <laughs> somewhat showing awareness of how betas are kept and how people really don't care about them. 
So if you ever get the chance to rescue one, I definitely would suggest it. There's always sick ones. There's always ones like needing help. People like to put them in little bowls. And if you have an opportunity to save one, do it. Because they're really great, easy pets. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Bye.